Action 10 Chief Meteorologist Sharon Ray with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Well, good afternoon. I hope you've been having a great day on this Friday and looking forward to coasting into the weekend. Well, it's hot out there today, and these are the current temperatures. Nothing unusual for late July. We're sitting at 91 in Corpus Christi right now to 93 Mathis Coastside in the upper 80s. It's even warm at Port Aransas, 89 to 90 at Rockport right now. Factor in that humidity. It feels hotter to your body, and these are going to be very similar numbers again tomorrow. So if you're going to be out exercising tomorrow or even Sunday, best time to do it early in the day as we're going to be doing that run tomorrow morning. Uh, you can see the heat indices by afternoons are getting pretty high. The wind picked up today though. It was nice to get that breeze, wasn't it? Uh, those wind speeds right now are anywhere from 17 miles an hour at Orange Grove to 20 at the Naval Air Station. So that breeze is helping us out. We also have clear skies out there and that'll be a great opportunity to view the full moon coming up. It rises at 832 tonight, just coming up of the east southeast horizon and then continuing to rise it's called the buck moon the reason why is it's usually around this time of year we see the bucks starting to emerge uh, the uh, antlers emerging from a buck's forehead so it was named that but sometimes it's also called the hay moon or the thunder moon and you know what this may have a yellowish orange glow to it or hue because of the Saharan dust. So maybe a beautiful moon coming up tonight. All right, so for tomorrow, we're going to be dealing with that heat. And again, best time to walk the dog early in the day. And, and remember uh, that sunshine is going to be heating up those surfaces too. So it's going to be hot on the concrete and asphalt tomorrow. That temperature up to 92 by 1 o'clock. The heat indices climbing as high as 109. And the breeze picking up tomorrow. It's still going to be quite breezy in the afternoon. 15, I think up to 20 will be reachable. But as I mentioned, you know that 92 degrees, uh, certainly when it's 92 and sunny, we can see the pavement being a lot hotter. In, in other words, 92 can result in the asphalt at 121 degrees, the concrete 105. So remember the little paws, your dog's paws can burn and within five minutes at 120 degrees. So remember to walk them in the grass or get them out there early or in the evening. High temperatures tomorrow, very much like late August, 94. Corpus Christi, 98 George West, 98 at Alice, just a hot, sticky day all across the coastal bend, even at the coastline, upper 80s. The feels like temperature tomorrow in the triple digits again. These are the feels like temperatures, and I do think a couple of spots inland may make it up to 112 for the heat index. So dangerous heat indices, when it gets over 105, it's very easy for your body to overheat if you overwork it. So with these kind of numbers through Sunday, you'll want to make sure you get plenty of uh, water if you're going to be out and about and take frequent breaks. Another thing we're going to be dealing with is the air quality. It is in the moderate range because of the Saharan dust. And what does that mean? Well, if you're extra sensitive to air pollution, if you have respiratory issues, you may want to stay indoors more for the next few days as that dust is going to linger through Tuesday. If you're heading to the beach tomorrow, there's also a moderate rip current risk. Use caution in the water and remember rip currents are more likely close to the jetties, especially especially the Packery Channel that's very well known for a rip current. So use caution in the water. Stay shallow if you can. Waves will be about three to four feet tomorrow. High tide at six in the morning. High pressure aloft. It's building and it's going to make it hot and steamy not only here, but a heat wave will be in progress through early next week across the plains as that high builds. Another thing we're watching is an area of disturbed weather it has a 40% chance of developing Developing. This, as it continues to develop possibly into a tropical disturbance and depression, is forecast to meander out here, getting caught up in the Gulf Stream, uh, not really with much direction to it off the East Coast. Well, no tropical weather for us. There's a look at your seven day forecast then. A lot of heat and humidity though, and hazy skies. The next chance of isolated rain at best is the middle of the week.